Hi guys! Today we're going to look at how to make a character slide down a slope if it's too steep. We currently have this scene with a character that can run around and jump. We've covered how to create this scene in the earlier videos of our 3D platformer series, so take a look if you want to know how it was done. Alternatively, you can get access to the project files of previous videos by supporting us on Patreon. All the relevant links can be found in the description. At the moment, we can run up to a slope and the character controller will then block movement if the slope is too steep. However, there's nothing stopping us jumping up the slope. We can just keep jumping until we get to the top of the mountain. To fix this issue, we're going to make the character slide down if the slope is too steep. Let's stop the game and go to the player movement script to make the changes. The first thing we'll do is add a couple of private fields. We'll add a boolean to store whether the character is sliding or not. We'll also add a vector3 field for the velocity of the slope slide. Next, we'll add a private method to set the slope slide velocity. The first thing we need to do in here is get some information about the ground underneath the character. For this, we'll cast a ray down from the character and see what it hits. We'll use Physics Raycast. For the origin, we'll use the position of the character. We'll raise the origin slightly by adding Vector3 up. This will ensure we don't miss any collisions where the character position is really close to the ground. For the direction of the ray, we'll use Vector3 down. We'll use an out parameter to capture the hit information. And we'll set the maximum distance of the ray to 5. We'll surround this in an if statement as we only want to proceed if there has been a hit. Now we have the information about the ground below the character, we need to determine the angle of the slope. We can do this using vector 3 angle. We'll use the normal vector of the ground that the ray hit. This is a vector pointing out in the direction of the ground's surface. For the slope angle, we need to get the angle between this and vector 3 up. Now we have the slope angle, we can check if it's greater or equal to the slope limit of the character controller. If it is, then the character should slide, so we'll set the slope slide velocity. We want to slide the character downwards, taking into account the direction the ground is facing. We can do this by using the Vector3 Project on Plane method. This will take a vector and project it onto a plane defined by a normal. We can see some example diagrams in the Unity documentation. A vector indicated by the red square is projected onto the green plane, resulting in the vector indicated by the black square. OK, for the vector we want to project, we'll use a vector pointing downwards, using the current Y speed of the character. Then for the plane normal, we'll use the normal of the ground that the ray hit. So this is taking the downward velocity of the character, and modifying it to move in the direction of the ground. Once we've done this, we can return from the method. If the character isn't on any ground steep enough to require a slide, we'll set the velocity to zero. That's it for this method for now. We just need to call it from the update method. We'll do this just after we've updated the Y speed of the character. Then we'll check if the slope slide velocity is zero. If it is, we can set is sliding to false. We want to start sliding if the character is on the ground and the slope slide velocity is greater than zero. We'll go to the section of the script where we've determined that the character is grounded. Then we'll check if the slope slide velocity is not zero. If it isn't, we'll set is sliding to true. 
We also have this line here, where we reset the Y speed once the character is on the ground. We don't want to do this if the character is sliding, as we want it to pick up speed as it slides down. To fix this, we'll only do this if the character is not sliding. The next thing we need to do is prevent the character jumping if we're sliding. We have this condition that's checking if we can jump. We'll add another check to make sure it's not sliding. Let's scroll down to where we actually apply the movement to the character controller. Here we're handling the movement when the character is in the air. We'll add another check to this to make sure it's not sliding before we do this. Then we'll add in a section for the slide movement. We'll check if we're sliding. Then we'll set a velocity variable to the slope slide velocity. The slope slide velocity is exactly along the surface of the ground and not going into the ground at all. This can result in the grounded check sometimes not triggering. To fix this, we'll set the y value to the y speed, which will make sure the character is still pushing down into the ground. Now we can apply this velocity to the character controller. We need to remember to multiply by time dot delta time to make sure the character moves at the same speed regardless of the frame rate. The final thing we need to do is go to the onAnimatorMove method. This method moves the character using root motion when it's walking or running. We don't want this to happen if we're sliding, so we'll add a check for this. OK, let's save the script and switch back to Unity to try it out. Now if we try to jump up the mountain, we slide back down. One thing you may notice is that as soon as the character reaches flatter terrain, it stops sliding instantly. It would look much better if it gradually came to a stop. Let's stop the game and switch back to the script to do this. We'll go to the method where we calculate the slope slide velocity. Instead of returning zero if we're no longer on a slope, we'll gradually reduce the velocity. To do this, we'll check if is sliding is true. If it is, we'll minus a fraction of the velocity each frame. We'll multiply by time dot delta time. We'll also multiply by 3 to make it slow down faster. Then we'll check if the magnitude of the velocity is greater than 1. If it is, we'll return from the method. If the magnitude is less than 1, then it has slowed down enough and the velocity will be set to 0 as before. Let's save this and switch back to Unity to try it out. Now the slide comes to a gradual stop and looks more natural. OK, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!